Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Saturday, September 15th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost, week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 139, and Job 38, verse 1 to 17. Now join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95. You are God, a great ruler over all the gods. In your hands are the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. You made the sea, it belongs to you. The dry land too, it was formed by your hands. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. Psalm 139. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You know my walking and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O oh God, know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I, might, if I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you. But the night shines like the day, the darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being, you have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, I know them well. My body was not hid from you when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body, unfinished in the womb. And in your book all my members were written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O God. The bloodthirsty must depart from me. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, my God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Alleluia. A reading from the book of Job, chapter 38, beginning at verse 1. Then Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk, or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy. 
Or who shut in the seas with doors when it burst out from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and prescribed bounds for it, and set bars and doors, and said, Thus far shall you come, and no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stopped. Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn to know its place, so that it might take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? It is changed like clay under the seal, and it is dyed like a garment. Light is withheld from the wicked, and their uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, beloved Creator, we praise you for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back and lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.